Hey everyone, my name is Randy Lee and I'm an environmental engineer. Thank you Magic Mind for teaming up with me and for giving me the energy and the focus power to get me through this rough past few weeks with my workload, but more about them later. Today, we're diving to a topic that's not just for students or early career engineers, but for anyone in this field who really wants to step up the game, which is how to become a better engineer. Whether you're just starting out or have been in this field for years, there's always room for growth. Engineering is all about solving problems, innovating, and making the world a better place. So why not strive to be the best at it? In this video, I'm gonna share some key strategies, tips, and personal insights on how to level up your engineering skills and career. First things first, to be a better engineer, you have to master the fundamentals. This might sound obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people just try to jump ahead without solidifying the basics. Engineering at its core is about understanding the principles that govern the world around us. Whether it's the law of thermodynamics, the principles of fluid mechanics, or the intricacies of circuit design. If you don't have these down, it's like trying to build a skyscraper on a shaky foundation. Just like for example, if you're a civil engineer, understanding the basic principles of stress and strain is crucial when designing any structure. Miscalculating the load a beam can handle or overlooking the effects of wind and seismic activity could lead to catastrophic events. That's why it's so important to revisit and continuously practice the fundamentals. It's not just about memorizing formulas, it's about truly understanding the concepts behind them. Next up, a great engineer is defined by their problem-solving skills. Engineering is all about tackling challenges head-on and coming up with solutions that are both efficient and innovative. But how do you cultivate a problem-solving mindset? It starts with curiosity. Always ask why. Why does a certain material behave that way? You know, why does a particular design do better than another? For instance, when working on a water treatment system, you might be faced with a challenge where the traditional filtration method isn't effective enough. Instead of accepting the limitation, dive deeper into the problem. Could a new type of membrane technology solve the issue? What if you explored alternative chemical treatments or combined different purification methods? I know I'm getting really into the specifics here, but this kind of out of the box thinking is what sets great engineers apart from the rest. Another key aspect to problem solving is resilience. Engineering problems can be tough and often require multiple iterations before you find a solution that works. You know, don't get discouraged if your first idea you know, doesn't work out right. Use every failure as a learning opportunity and keep refining your approach until you succeed. In the rapidly evolving field of engineering, staying ahead of the curve means embracing new technologies and innovations. The tools that we use today are vastly different than what it was a decade ago, and the pace of change is only accelerating. So to be a better engineer, you need to be open to new ideas and willing to learn new technologies. Take 3D printing, for example. It has revolutionized the way we prototype and manufacture products. In aerospace engineering, for example, entire components that were once painstakingly assembled from multiple parts are just now being printed as a single lightweight structure. You know, whether it's new software, advanced materials, or, you know, cutting edge fabrication methods, being proactive about learning and applying new technologies will keep you at the forefront of this field. It's not just about learning new tools themselves, but also understanding how to integrate them into your existing workflow. Being a better engineer often means improving processes and finding more efficient ways to get things done with your current state of work. Next, one often overlooked aspect of being a great engineer is effective communication. Engineering isn't just about working with numbers and designs, it's also about conveying your ideas with others. You know, whether you're writing a report or giving a presentation or just explaining a concept to a colleague or a client, how you communicate can make or break a project. Imagine you're leading a project team and you've come up with a brilliant solution to a complex problem. However, if you can't effectively communicate your solution to your team or persuade your client, your idea might just never see the light of day. This is why it's so important to develop strong communication skills. Practice writing clear, concise reports and take every opportunity to present your ideas to others. For example, if you're working on a project to reduce emissions in a industrial plant, the technical solution is only half the battle. You have to create a compelling case to convince the management team that investing in this new technology was worth the cost. This required not just you know, technical knowledge, but also the ability to present the information in a way that is accessible and at least persuasive. Next is a crucial point, never stop learning. Engineering is a field that's constantly evolving and to stay relevant, 
you need to keep up with the latest developments, whether it's through formal education or online courses, attending conferences, or just reading the latest research papers. Make it a priority to continuously expand your knowledge. But learning doesn't have to just happen in the classroom or through books. It can also happen in the real world. Take on challenging projects that push you out of your comfort zone. You know, volunteer for tasks that you've never done before. This is where the real growth happens. Also, let's be honest, keeping your brain sharp requires more than just intellectual effort. It requires energy. That's why I'm excited to talk about today's sponsor, Magic Mind. As engineers, we work long hours and staying focused and energized is crucial. Magic Mind isn't just any drink. It's specifically formulated to fuel your brain and body, giving you the boost you need to keep learning and pushing forward. Whether you're burning the midnight oil to finish a project or diving into a new area of study, Magic Mind is there to keep you going strong. For example, the other day I was working on a particularly challenging problem that required a lot of creative problem solving and attention to detail. Usually by mid-afternoon, I'd be reaching for another cup of coffee just to keep me going, but I decided to try Magic Mind instead. Within minutes, I felt a noticeable difference. I was able to power through the calculations, come up with some really innovative solutions, and still have some energy left at the end of the day to review my work with some fresh eyes. It's not just about the energy boost, it's about the clarity and focus that Magic Mind provides, helping me to be more productive and efficient during my day job. Plus, it's made out of natural ingredients that you may already be familiar with, such as matcha tea and passion fruit. It contains your daily dose of vitamin C and other nutrients that your body needs to stay healthy. And if you think you have to sacrifice coffee over this, you're wrong. You don't have to choose one over the other. If it doesn't give you the negative side effects of coffee such as palpitation or you know the morning runs. So if you're like me and your job requires you to be on top of your game all day, I definitely recommend giving Magic Mind a try. It's become a key part of my daily routine and I'm excited to see how it continues to improve my work and overall well-being. Another key to becoming a better engineer is seeking out mentorship and collaborating with others. Engineering is not just a solo endeavor. You know, some of the greatest engineering feats in history were accomplished by teams of people working together, sharing knowledge, and building on each other's ideas. If you're early in your career, find a mentor who can guide you, share their experiences, and help you navigate the challenges that you face. A mentor can provide invaluable advice, open doors to new opportunities, and help you avoid common pitfalls that they've already experienced. For those further along in their careers, you know, consider being a mentor yourself. There's so much that you can learn from teaching and guiding others. Plus, it's a great way to give back to your engineer community and help the next generation of engineers grow and thrive. Collaboration is equally important. No matter how brilliant you are, you'll never have all the answers. Working with others allows you to leverage different perspectives and expertise, leading to more innovative and effective solutions. Lastly, let's talk about the ethical responsibility that comes with being an engineer. The decisions that we make as engineers have real-world impacts on the environment, on public safety, and society as a whole. Being a better engineer means being mindful of these impacts and making decisions that prioritize their greater good. For instance, when designing a new product, it's not just about making something that works well or is cost-effective. It's about considering the environmental footprint, the safety of the end users, and the long-term sustainability of the materials and processes you're using. As engineers, we have the power to shape the future, and it's our responsibility to do so in a way that's ethical and responsible. So, to wrap things up, being a better engineer isn't just about technical skills. It's about mastering the fundamentals, adopting a problem-solving mindset, embracing innovation, communicating effectively, continuing to learn, seeking mentorship and collaboration, and always acting with ethical responsibility. Engineering is a powerful profession that could change the world, and by striving to be the best engineer you can be, you're not just improving your own career, you're making a positive impact on the world around you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out Magic Mind, your perfect partner in powering through those long study sessions or late night projects. I'll be sure to use them when I'm studying for my next upcoming exams for my PE license. The link is in the video description down below. Hopefully it helps you guys out as much as it helped me out during those past few weeks in getting all my work done and you know staying focused. That's it for the video. Goodbye.